So for our viewers' benefits, let's see the real two-bedroom unit. It's here, 104 square meters or 1,119.45 square feet with all the details here that we're going to see inside from the foyer down to the balcony. Again, the balcony. So, shall we go? Wow! So, when you enter, you see the maid's quarter or the utility room here for your uh, washer and dryer, washing machine, and with a toilet and bath, actually. Alright, so now we're inside the two-bedroom showroom unit of the Empress Tower. And once again, this place is really extremely stunning. Every detail of this two-bedroom definitely speaks of luxury. It's quite similar to the one-bedroom that we have shown you earlier. And as you can see, of course, it's U-shaped again with all this island bench top that separates the kitchen from the dining area, but on a bigger, a lot bigger space. And also the chandelier is perhaps you can say it is much prettier as they use here some glass chandeliers. And now I'd like to show you that this space in the kitchen here can actually accommodate a two-door refrigerator. So it's pretty you know, spacious. And the same um, uh, modular storages that are available here from the cupboards down to, of course, the cabinets and the drawers down here that are all soft cushioning. And kind of really huge size a countertop and also the um, induction stove. And of course, the natural stone, the U-type shape countertop with the backsplash there hmm, quite complete a lot of space in storage here oh a six-seater uh, dining table and six-seater uh, accommodation that you can actually enjoy one big family with friends and of course you also have noticed that similar to the one bedroom this unit also is using the latest technology for the smart home system so you can see here on your left that this uh, control panel is also here and all the switches and of course the sensor for our room temperature and i want to focus on the ceiling actually the height first that really gives this um, very open and spacious room um, from floor to ceiling, this is definitely beyond standard. Standard is 2.5 in height, but this I think is 2.7 or 3 meter high from floor to the soffit. And you can check that uh, the details of our ceiling is really beautiful. And you also have here, um, you know, they place a lot of mirrors on the shelves to add up again beautiful spaces to this room. And underneath here on our wall TV set, we have a lot of storages. There you go. See, it's beautiful. So this one here is also another example of a very good design inspiration for all of you house hunters. If you want to perhaps like, uh, you know, do a little bit of facelift in your own home. So Scandinavian, modern Scandinavian design is really good. Huge, huge space. 104 square meter. Quite big. And of course, the most coveted floor to ceiling windows um, in this unit. And also, when you step out to the balcony, you can see that. Balcony, oh, here. Very relaxing. Very nice. Imagine drinking coffee. Oh, there you are. Oh, really nice. Okay, now so I'm going to bring you to the junior suite. Look at this space right here and the way they have maximized this space. Like it's um bunk bed inspired type of setup, but uh, they have maximized it by putting a nice desk underneath. And of course, the staircase, they put a lot of storages right here where you can place all your knickknacks. And this very elegant closet that has um, closet LED lights that turns on every time that you're going to open your closet. This is pretty cute, you know, because you know, I think my daughter would like this. 
you know, she's studying here, and if she's tired, she can just go up here on top of it. It's, it's her bed. Really cute. And this very beautiful drop lights here. And of course, if you are going to check the details of the floor treatment, they use hardwood on this room. So there is your junior suite. It's really nice. And the next one that we're going to show you is the common and toilet and bath. So this is yours. Once again, it is glass enclosed with head and hand held uh, shower set. You also have your, yeah, what's the name of that? Niche. You have the niche and then you have the bench uh, bathroom there and then you have your water closet. So almost very similar to the one bedroom. So now, we are going to finally show you the bedroom. Okay, this is actually a master bedroom. So, it's quite spacious. So this is really so sweet. Can you see? So this one fits a perhaps king or queen size bed here. And in our uh, master suite, there's a lot of floor to ceiling windows so you can see that you can just imagine how much uh, you can enjoy the natural light coming into your space to your bedroom let's check out the toilet and bath lots of cabinets of course here oh i love what i love about this uh, toilet and bath it's actually there's an his and her sink you know you can have two Right. to actually do your own thing here. Nice. Boys, your soft closing, um, storage is here, and the detail of the black splash wall, they use some capis here, and also right above our water closet, they also have capis there. That's really nice. So the same feature uh, as we have shown in the common toilet. So there you go, and look at that. They also have another niche over there and this huge window that allows some natural light to come in in this unit so there is your master suite so thank you very much for joining us here i am your atv to see you on our next episode thank you hello everyone and now we're with Mr. Arta Bag of Orchidus Land. He's the sales panel head. Say hi to our Hello, viewers. Hello, house hunters. <laughs> okay, so we'll talk about Orchidus Land. Could you tell me more about the developments like Capital Commons in the Galley? Okay, um, we're here at the Capital Commons. It's a 10 hectare estate of Orchidus Land. Yes, and uh, we actually launched uh, around four towers already here. Four? Yes. Wow. And of course, uh, you can actually see the new uh, mall. We're in the new wing Stanza. of uh, Stanza. Yes. And there, nice. are, there are a lot of exciting developments here. Yeah, and I can see the park. It's so beautiful, especially at night. Yes, it is. With, with all the lights. And yeah, could you tell us more? Um, could you discuss about the subway? Because I heard that you have a subway. Yeah, so uh, we've been hearing that, no? The metro, the first Metro Manila subway system. Yes. So uh, one of the stations will be actually located near uh, Capital Commons, no? It's just, it will be beside um, the Unimart. Imagine, that's amazing. Just yes. right so, outside is the subway. Traveling from Capital Commons, say going to the airport will just take you 10 to 15 minutes. Wow, that's really, really, really nice. Yes. And we could see BGC from here. I didn't know that it was so near. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, um, you can actually uh, see BGC, you know? You can and, wait. <laughs> and correct. And uh, traveling from here to BGC eventually will take you, say, 10 to 15 minutes. Wow, with the new bridge. Yes, uh, that's the Lawton Santa Monica Bridge eventually will be constructed within the year. Actually. Yeah, I think it's opening soon. Mm -hmm. So I imagine if you want to go to BGC, you just drive there for 15 minutes, you're there, you can enjoy BGC. 
Yeah. And how about, I would ask you about the galleon. What's the difference of the galleon from Capital Campus? Okay, so the galleon that we're talking about is a project of uh, Artigas Land, which we also recently uh, launched. It's actually located in the central business district of Artigas. Um, location, well, it's actually in front of um, um, the, the Asian Development Bank. So that's really like a prestigious address. Yes, it is. Yeah, so and this, I noticed that there's two towers. Eventually, there will be two towers in, uh, at the Galleon. So uh, below the, uh, those two towers is, is, a, uh, is a commercial uh, building. So it's going to be a mall. It's a mall Imagine and then a residential mall. tower yeah. and uh, high-end uh, office tower. Office tower. Are the office towers for sale? Yes, it is for sale. So you should look out for that. And um, so with with Ortigas Land, um, can you tell us the developments of Ortigas Land? Okay. okay, there are a lot of exciting uh, projects that we're looking into. No? Um, Ortigas Land has a strategic partnership with SM and Ayala and we're unlocking the full potential of Ortigas Land. Yes, so for example, uh, Capital Commons, no? uh, we just launched Empress, which is a new tower. And then um, we, we are improving the, the, the retail offering of um, of Ortigas land which is a uh, new building here uh, Capital Common. And the other developments? Other developments uh, would include, uh, of course, let's not forget Green Hill. <laughs> of yeah. course, don't forget Green Hill. Green Hill shopping center starting to... Uh, yeah, there's construction there. Now. There are a lot of construction uh, happening there. Eventually, we'll be offering uh, office buildings. Office buildings? Yes, in, in Green Hill. And then, uh, of course, uh, let's not forget where Kendakitas is located, no? It's okay. called Ortigas East. So, uh, we have a new tower there uh, called uh, Maple. Yeah. And, of course, Circle of Verde. Circle of Verde is in uh, Cali Industria. So, that's another, say, 16 hectare property of uh, Ortigas land. That uh, we are... Um, reviewing the, the projects that uh, we will be launching there also. So that's very exciting. So there are many projects, up and coming projects in Ortigas land. So actually we're now here at the beautiful showroom in Estancia. Yes. Um, Sir so Artie, do you invite yeah. our viewers? Uh, visit? House Hunters, visit our uh, model units here at uh, Estancia East Wing. We're located at the 6th floor of uh, the new um, wing of uh, Estancia. So uh, we have uh, model units for um, Empress, um, Maven, and the Galleon here in our show. Okay, thank you Sir Art for, for this interview and please visit them in Ortigas Land. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>